Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Is your Mac's internal storage full? Let me show you how to clear some space in 7 steps. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So if you saw a message saying that your internal storage is almost full or you happen to notice that it's getting pretty full, here's how to clear out some space. First step is to go in the Apple menu to System Settings. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like in macOS Sonoma and macOS Ventura. Older versions do it a little differently. We're going to go here to General and then we're going to go to Storage. Now. You want to ignore what you see at first. It's going to take some time to populate everything. You notice how we had all those spinning wheels there and this up here isn't complete yet. It's still figuring out how to categorize items. You want to make sure all of these things have stopped spinning and give it some time for this to complete. Right now you see it says System Data takes up a lot of space. But if I wait a little bit you'll see that it recategorizes things over time and most of that system data is now categorized as other users. Which makes sense since I have multiple user accounts on this Mac and one of them, my main account, is actually using up a ton of space. But the thing to keep in mind with this graph up here is it's categorizing things. These aren't locations. So when you find the section that says Documents, that's not your Documents folder. That literally means things that are documents. It's a category. Not all of your document files are going to be in your documents folder. But we're not really going to use this to try to clear off space. Instead we're going to look below. The first section I want you to look in might be the biggest. It's Applications. Click on the little Info button here to the right and it's going to give you a list of the applications you have installed. It may take a minute or two to calculate all the sizes but then you can sort by size by clicking on this column here and make sure that the largest is at the top. You can then see which applications you have installed that take up a lot of space and decide whether or not you want to uninstall some. You can usually select one and use the Delete button here. Sometimes you get an Uninstaller button which will use the Developer's Official Uninstaller. Other times if it's a third party app that you didn't install through the Mac App Store you may want to look up the official way to uninstall it from that Apps Support site. And keep in mind it's easy a lot of times to reinstall apps especially from the Mac App Store but also from other developer websites. So if there's an app you rarely use deleting it doesn't mean you don't own it anymore. You can usually re-download it pretty easily if you really need the app later on. Next you're going to look through the rest of this list. First concentrate on things that have the names of applications like Mail, Messages, Music. Sometimes when you click on the Info button you'll get a list of things that you can remove. For instance in the Messages app you can select an item that takes up a lot of space. You can sort this by size and you can delete it right here without going to the Messages app. But for other apps you're just going to get a number. You'll have to go to the app itself to change what you've got stored in the app. You won't find a lot of apps here because they don't actually store data inside of some sort of application library. Like Pages for instance all the documents would be document files not things stored internally in Pages. But other apps like Podcasts have special libraries and if I look here I can see which episodes I've got that are taking up the most space and delete them right here. I may also want to open up the app and change my settings so it doesn't automatically download episodes or store a lot of old ones. Each app works a little differently. So you want to go through the list here and look at anything that matches the name of an app like TV, Podcast, Photos and so on. Next you're going to want to look for the item called Documents. If you look at the info for that you get four different ways to look at your documents. If you look just at large files you'll see which files are the biggest. Now this is going to look throughout your user home folder and throughout iCloud Drive. So it's a nice way to have a combo view of all of your stuff. If you find something here you can delete it but what I recommend doing is using Show in Finder. Then it will take you to the folder that has that which will give you some context for what this is. It may also show you files around it that you group together. Then you can make a decision whether to delete it and have it gone forever or maybe get an external drive and move that item to the external drive deleting it from your internal drive to free up space. In addition to large files you can also go to the File Browser here which will show you a view of all of your folders where documents can be stored. So you're going to see things like Movies which is in your User folder but also Documents which in this case is an iCloud Drive. And notice you get 
sizes here so you can really dig down and figure out what's taking up space. I see how much space my Documents folder is taking up and I can see all of the folders in there and how much space each of those is taking up. So I can ignore things that don't really use up much space and pay attention to things that have a lot of items in it taking up a lot of space. And again you're going to want to select a file or a folder and show in Finder and go there and decide whether to delete, archive, or just keep those items because you need them. You can also look in things in your Downloads folder and you're probably going to want to make sure this is empty. If something's in here move it to a nice folder inside of your Documents folder. Organize things appropriately. Treat your Downloads folder as a temporary storage place for something that you just downloaded and you haven't yet figured out where it's going to live. And then Unsupported Apps will just show you any apps you have installed that won't work on your Mac. Next you're going to look at everything else. So everything that's not an application and it's not this Documents folder or Applications folder. For instance here I've got Developer. I'm going to get info on that and it's going to show me some things that are taking up space that I use as part of Xcode. You probably won't see this here unless you use Xcode as well. You may see other items here and you can decide what to do with them. Music creation is an interesting one because a lot of things are actually used by both GarageBand and Apple Logic. So they group them together here. I can remove the GarageBand sound library with this button. If GarageBand is something I installed and played around with but I don't really use it anymore I may want to do that. Now that leaves items down here at the bottom. The system is the system. That needs to be there of course. Other user shows you other user accounts. So you're going to want to switch to other accounts and do this all over again to find out what those accounts may have that's taking up space. But at the bottom you're going to see the mysterious system data which a lot of people ask about. They don't understand why it's taking up so much space. This is actually a fairly normal amount of space for system data to use. But some people may find that it takes up even more than this. To dig into system data you can't actually do anything right here in System Settings. You're going to have to use the Finder. So in the Finder create a new Finder window and what we want to look for are library folders. There are actually two. One's the System Library folder shared by all user accounts and one's the Library folder for this one account. To go to the System Library folder choose Go and then Computer and then go into your drive and look for Library right there. Then go into it. Make sure you're using List View because List View is the best way to do this and you can see Size here to the right and Sort so the largest is at the top. If you just see dashes here for Size choose View and then Show View Options and make sure Calculate All Sizes is turned on. Then look at what you've got here. Look into each folder and just figure it out from the context. For instance here's a folder that's obviously used by my online backup. Here's a folder that contains all of my fonts. It makes sense what these are. Application Support if you expand that and look at the sizes I could see that Logic takes up a lot of space and if I use Logic or GarageBand in this case then that makes sense. Here's one from Adobe and I can look in here and see all of the different things that Adobe is storing in the Library folder. It's okay not to find anything to get rid of at the System level in your System Library folder. But if you do find like an app that you no longer use at all and maybe you uninstalled it then you may want to delete that here. Otherwise there's usually not much to be done in this Library folder. To go to your other Library folder choose Go and hold the Option key down and select a Library. And This will actually go to your User Folder Library folder. And in here if you sort by size and make sure Calculate All Sizes is turned on then you can figure out what's taking up the most space. In this case Caches uses the most space. And Caches are fine. They actually speed up your Mac. It's counterproductive to actually delete your Caches because as soon as you go back to that app it's going to take time to regenerate the cache and it's just going to take up the same amount of space. The only useful thing here is if there's an app that you say have uninstalled and it's still taking up space here the cache is left behind and you can delete the cache since you no longer use that app. If you look under Containers you're going to find folders that have application names. Sometimes you have to really kind of look and examine the name here to figure out what it is. But in the most part these store items that you need to use those applications. If there's an application you uninstalled but it left behind a folder here you can get rid of it. The same thing for group containers as well. Although sometimes it's harder to figure out what these are from. Here for instance this one's for podcasts. So I wouldn't actually want to do anything with this folder directly but instead go into the Podcasts app and delete some of the downloaded podcasts and change my settings. One item you find here that's usually pretty big is mobile documents. This is your iCloud Drive folder. If you go into here it actually takes you right to iCloud Drive. So it's no big mystery as to what this is. You don't want to actually do anything with this. You would have dealt with anything in iCloud Drive back when we were looking at Documents and System Settings. Now you just want to repeat this 
with other user accounts that you have on your Mac to clear out space. And that's it. Keep in mind that the result of this may be that you still don't have enough space in your internal storage to keep everything around. In that case you're simply going to have to make hard decisions about archiving files to an external drive that you don't think you'll need. And then maybe for your next Mac remember to get a larger internal drive. And as you can see here I didn't use any third party tools at all. A lot of people jump right to using some sort of third party tool and you don't need that. You can do everything you need to maintain your drive using system settings and the Finder. So I hope you found this useful. I have another video you should check out that shows you some locations that may have some files that you don't need. So check that one out as well. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.